What will be your biggest challenge, your team's biggest challenge tonight? Well, we had a day off yesterday on the plane. It was a long road trip, so uh, to emotionally, physically, mentally reload and get ready for today, I think is more important than all the X's and O's and who we're playing against. I think it's uh, everybody talks about it. Everybody knows that the first game back after a road trip is usually difficult. So we know that we're aware of it. We don't want to be surprised by it, and uh, at least it gives us the right frame of mind to start. Same starting lineup tonight, uh, or same lineup for yes. your team? And Craig and Gould? Yes. First game back is difficult. Different reasons. First of all, anybody that's lived going on the road and playing and uh, coming back and plane rides and uh, having to do with uh, time changes is difficult for a normal human being without playing hockey. So now you're a hockey player and you got to perform. And performing isn't just, okay, get out there and, and play well. You're Ferraris against Ferraris. So the minute you're a little off, that's a big difference. And so for us, it's, it's that uh, little um, difference that we want to make sure that we're aware of so that we're emotionally uh, ready to, uh, to face them coming out hard. They were sitting here and they're waiting for us. So we know that their frame of mind, their, their, their physical, mental, and emotional side is, is ready for us. So we have to make sure that we, uh, we put a lot of emphasis on that emotional part of the game for today. I suppose all making a decision on Shabbat. We today today is uh, today is a game day, and yesterday we weren't here. We're on the plane. We had discussions, but to be honest with you, uh, we'll look at that in the next days. I think uh, we're home now, so once we get through this game, after that, uh, we'll we'll uh, relook and reevaluate. And we're at the same spot the other teams are at this time of the year with their young guys. My other, we've had other discussions with uh, coaches and management from other teams who are also looking at their young guys and seeing uh, seeing where they stand. We were 100% sure whether he played or not, it was good to have him on this trip, that's for sure, for him to grow and see what the NHL is about, the long road trip and uh, the ups and downs of uh, not just on the ice but off ice too. Uh, and now from now on, we got to reassess where we are. Look, you know, it's game day, but at some point you got to get him playing. It's game day, yeah. and he's not playing. That's why it's tomorrow. We'll look at that tomorrow. Do crowds, can crowds play a factor in games? Like, I don't know how emotional tonight will be with the return since you guys came off that trip of how they will embrace Craig or this team. Can it have an effect on how this team plays? You know, anything positive can have an effect. Anything negative, you don't want it to have an effect. And I think everything's positive in that respect now. I think whether it's Craig or the team, uh, you know, I, I stated uh, after the game that the Oilers were very classy at how they've acted, and whether it's the coaches with their ties or it's their goalie after the game, uh, the people in the stands who've applauded. Uh, I mean, that, that's all positive. Uh, people care about people. And before our goaltender is a goaltender, he's a person. And, uh, and I think that was very positive. So coming back here at home in front of our fans is, should always be a positive thing. And uh, I think the vibes now are definitely twofold. There's the hockey side, there's the personal side, but I think they're joined together in something that's positive in, in, in supporting uh, a player and a team. So um, I, I think it's all positive for us that uh, people are backing us up. Absolutely. Keith, how, how emotional was it for you Sunday night after the game, addressing the team, and I, I think you gave Craig the puck uh, after the game? Yeah, we gave him the puck uh, to give to his wife because definitely she was, uh, you know, she's the one that has the, the biggest uh, battle, and I think she was the one that told her husband, you got to go here. And it freed him, I think, uh, to be able to come and to try to get as free of his mind as you can get to. To focus on a game but uh, I mean it's all about the players it's all about uh, them so I, I wouldn't want to put anything on me making it difficult but if you were asking me if it was a normal game to coach no <laughs> it's it's one of those games where as a coach you don't want to make a mistake in how you approach the team and uh, how you approach uh, that particular player uh, and what you say after the game too it's it's you know if I've had to do something similar in the past and um, you're never very comfortable with those things because you're yourself having to deal also with those emotions and uh, and you care you care about the person 
Uh, so Balky comes second, but then you have a game at that moment. So it, you know it's it's at the forefront of what you got to do. So you tr you try to get the best mix possible of um, caring and and really being focused on the hockey part. But uh, you know it, it wasn't about me. It was about the players. They managed it. Craig managed it, uh, and they won the game. They're the ones on the ice. They're the ones who should get all the credit. And uh, um, I thought their attitude was unbelievable. And we attacked less than all the other games. We, you know, out shot and out chance most of the teams that we played lately. Uh, in that particular case, I, you know, I didn't push too much for offense because they were so focused on on defending for. Uh, our goaltender. So we gave a lot of shots from the outside because the guys were really trying to be inside for our goalie. Uh, so I wasn't going to mess that up. And so they, they deserve all the credit for managing everything that, that they managed in the last days. You rolled your lines like throughout that game even late, but it didn't seem like you shortened the bench at all. Is that no, I didn't shorten the bench. I. Um, it, some guys got less ice time just because of power playing PK, really. But uh, you're right, I played four lines, I rolled four lines uh, because it was a team effort, it was a team commitment. Uh, you could feel it. There was something special in the air in that game. You know, you look at the previous game where we l greatly deserved that game. Uh, you know, it didn't turn out our way with the different circumstances, but uh, you look at that game, it was played different w in a different way, but the uh, it, it was really. You could feel on the bench there was something special where the guys really wanted to stick together. So that was um, that was for me a sign that hey, don't mess with this. If, if I change the line, which I did, I still kept my four lines rolling so that everybody felt involved in it, and because they were, they really were. So I think that's that was a plus for me, and that was easy for me to manage. To be honest with you. Coach, Pitson, <coughs> Ben, c'est sûr, je ne veux pas rentrer dans trop les détails de ça parce que c'est des choses qui sont quand même assez euh, fermées. C'est un, un milieu fermé. Puis une raison pourquoi c'est fermé, c'est parce que tu, tu développes des, des liens et des expériences qui sont particulières, qui sont propres à notre équipe et à, à notre groupe. Alors, je ne veux pas non plus rentrer dans les, dans les, dans les détails, mais une chose est certaine, c'est que il n'y avait pas beaucoup de gens qui parlaient. Euh, habituellement, quand tu gagnes, tu as, as, as une bonne célébration, tu as beaucoup d'enthousiastes, tu as beaucoup de, 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 de personnes qui parlent. Puis à ce moment-là, ben, tu aurais pu entendre une mouche, je pense. Que parce que c'était très. Euh, tout était à fleur de peau. Tout était euh, tellement pas une, une situation normale que je pense que personne ne savait vraiment comment réagir à ça. Alors, c'était plus comme ça que d'autres choses. La question va peut-être paraître froide un peu, mais est-ce qu'à un moment donné, Attention, pas surfer trop longtemps sur cette vague-là, si on... Non, tu peux pas. N'importe qui qui a, qui a vécu euh, ce qu'on vit comme joueur, comme entraîneur, il n'y a pas de surfage. Tu sais, on parle, les gens vont parler, oh, l'équipe a un momentum d'un match à l'autre, d'une période à l'autre. Ça n'existe pas, ça. Ça, c'est pas vrai. Ça, c est, c est, c est... On crée quelque chose autour de, 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 des situations qui n'existent pas vraiment. Aujourd'hui, c'est une journée complètement nouvelle, avec une, une approche complètement différente par rapport à une autre équipe. Alors, chaque journée a son lot de, de, de challenges, de défis. Et puis, il faut l'approcher de cette façon-là. Alors, on n'est plus où on était euh, au dernier match ou le match d'avant. C'est un match euh, particulier contre une équipe particulière avec une approche particulière. Alors, on, on dit en anglais, on reload, ça veut dire qu'on reset, puis on, on commence une journée complète.